Who are we talking about? The Holy Ghost, learning to know Him. He's God. How, how sharp is He? Is He pretty smart? There's no one sharper. He's the sharpest knife in the drawer. Take that veil away and start looking at the God you're supposed to be walking around with. The Holy Ghost is God in the earth today, and you walk with Him by saying words. My name is Andrew Hemstrott. Thank you for joining us. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe. If this isn't your first time here and these messages are blessing you, then consider becoming a partner with us. Now, the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today. Like it or not, some people don't like it, but that's the truth. And you need to know who you are and where you are. You are in the earth, and this is the age of the Holy Ghost. If you were alive when Jesus was here, it would have been the age of Jesus. Is that right? Yes. And hopefully you would have been one of the few people that could walk with him. I doubt it, but you hoped that you would be. Yes. Well, he's no longer here. He left. In fact, he said if he didn't leave, he wouldn't the Holy Ghost wouldn't come to you well the fact that the Holy Ghost did come and the Holy Ghost is in the earth is part of the proof that Jesus is not here mm -hmm. he left he went sat down at the Father's right hand and sent himself is that what he said no, no he said he'll send another have you ever said that to anyone mm -hmm. I'm gonna send another over to your house tomorrow and pick up the thing that I left there mm -hmm. and then you show up is that how it works no. no that wouldn't be another that'd be you mm -hmm. well the fact is the Holy Ghost is not Jesus Jesus is at the Father's right hand the real Jesus and I know who the real Jesus is and he sent the Holy Ghost to be with you in the earth so do you know who you are and who you're with mm -hmm. I hope so because a lot of people don't your salvation the promise of your salvation is not Jesus the promise of your salvation is the Holy Ghost he is the promise of your salvation mm -hmm. are you here yeah. this is what I went over all of this last week and I'll put a link down below Jesus is not the promise of your salvation heaven as an eternal home is not the promise of your salvation that's just an after effect mm -hmm. who is the promise of your salvation the Holy Ghost being able to receive him and know him and walk with him as God in the earth today mm -hmm. in fact Jesus whole ministry pointed to the Holy Ghost and when the last thing he said don't leave until the Holy Ghost comes mm -hmm. and I'm trying to get you to go somewhere today I hope you understand this right so the Holy Ghost is the promise of your salvation so if you are going to fulfill what you are saved unto in the earth it will be by knowing him the promise mm -hmm. are you here mm -hmm. the Holy Ghost is the promise of your salvation the Holy Ghost is a person say the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost is, is a person. person so knowing him and walking with him and worshiping him as God is the promise of your salvation that's who you are a worshiper of God in a way that you couldn't be before first Corinthians chapter 2 verse 2 for I determined not to know anything among you save Jesus Christ and him crucified now if you were to take the regular religious understanding of this verse you would think that Paul wasn't going to speak anything to them except Jesus Christ and him crucified that's what it seems like doesn't it yet the whole rest of the book of Corinthians he's taught he talks about the Spirit of God he talks about all the gifts of the Spirit so if that if that verse number two there was that he determined not to know or to talk about anything except Jesus Christ and him crucified he failed miserably in fact the very next verse that we're gonna read he missed it so he missed it on the very next verse mm -hmm. that's not what 
that is saying he determined meaning determined pre before he went there yes. he had a determination he had something some knowledge about the Corinthians and it was that among them they didn't know anything except Jesus Christ and him crucified so this isn't Paul determining uh, he's gonna go in among them and only talk about Jesus and him crucified it's that he knew that these people only knew about say only. only they only knew about Jesus and him crucified they knew nothing about the Holy Ghost because whoever was preaching to them did not preach about the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. verse 4 and my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words of man's wisdom but in demonstration of the Spirit capital S and of power so demonstration in that word simply means an open show a revealing say a revealing, revealing. his speech and his preaching was a revealing of the Holy Ghost and his power that your faith would not stand in the wisdom of men but in the power of God the Holy Ghost where should your faith stand and be in the Holy Ghost who is God in the earth today and was God in the earth in that day and they didn't know anything about him so Paul began to reveal to them about the Holy Ghost and his power are you seeing this mm -hmm. second Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 16 nevertheless when it shall turn to the Lord the veil shall be taken away verse 17 now the Lord is that spirit and where the spirit of the Lord is there is Liberty now this verse 16 here some people would argue nevertheless when it shall turn to the Lord they would say that well that's when you turn to Jesus and you can understand that you know I'm, I mean I would argue that it's turning to the Spirit of the Lord but even if it was for arguments sake even if it was people turning to Jesus if they turn to the Lord the veil shall be taken away even if verse 16 was talking about Jesus the veil is taken away verse 17 is not talking about Jesus if they turn to Jesus what is he going to tell them that I sent another mm -hmm. verse 17 is not talking about Jesus now say now now, now that means now the Lord is that spirit mm -hmm. and where the spirit of the Lord is or where the spirit is Lord there is Liberty which means where the spirit isn't Lord mm -hmm. there isn't Liberty at least this kind of Liberty that he's talking about mm -hmm. verse 18 but we all with open face beholding as in a, as in a glass the glory of the Lord say the Lord, Lord are changed into the same image from glory to glory even as by the Spirit of the Lord mm -hmm. not Jesus you're changed from beholding the Spirit of the Lord looking at the Spirit of the Lord seeing having him revealed to you remember Paul was talking about him revealing who the Spirit Lord is mm -hmm. and as you see him you are changed from one glory to the next glory to the next glory mm -hmm. even as by the Spirit of the Lord right. another translation says even as by the Lord who is that Spirit mm -hmm. who are who are we changed by beholding and having more revelation of we're changed by having more revelation of the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. all right now the Lord is that spirit the one that Jesus preached about the one that Jesus sent the one who is God in the earth say the one, the one. who is yes. God, God in the earth, in the earth. how do you think you're gonna be changed by someone who isn't God in the earth 
you're changed by him by beholding him by knowing him better mm -hmm. say better. better first corinthians chapter 6 verse 19 what know you not that your body is the temple of the holy ghost now who remember corinthians we were talking about he knew that entering in among these people they knew nothing about the holy ghost mm -hmm. they only knew about jesus and him crucified mm -hmm. and he goes what know you not mm -hmm. again he's revealing say he's revealing. he's revealing he's revealing things about the holy ghost that they might not know what know you not that your body is the temple of the holy ghost who is in you that body which you have of god and you are not your own for you are bought with a price therefore glorify god in your body and in your spirit which are god's what god are you to glorify in your body the Holy Ghost who is God in the earth today and he is chosen to take up a dwelling mm -hmm. in you who are you as a temple of God supposed to be glorifying the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. now how are you gonna glorify him if you don't know who he is that's what he's saying what how do you not know this how could they possibly glorify the Holy Ghost if they don't know who he is so you would need to have more revelation more unveiling say unveiling. unveiling the veil was taken away now the Lord is unveiling of who the Holy Ghost is so that you can be changed from glory to glory and if you don't have that unveiling you can't be changed or have those new liberties that are coming your way so you're supposed to glorify God the Holy Ghost in your body and in your spirit one way to glorify him is to talk about him to learn about him to walk around with him and to worship him mm -hmm. say worship him. worship him if you find out that he is God mm -hmm. should you worship God yes, yes because he's God if you glorify him and worship him as god he begins to fundamentally change you say fundamentally, fundamentally. Change, change me when you worship him and anybody who knows who's been doing this at all knows it begins to go right down into your innermost being your spirit it says glorify god in your body and in your spirit it starts out by you saying I worship you Holy Ghost and it begins to change you fundamentally from the inside out are you here yes. I've never heard this before I know welcome you will be fundamentally changed as you begin worshiping the true and living God should you worship the true and living God yes. mm -hmm. does he have a name yes. Holy Ghost so we're supposed to glorify God in our body mm -hmm. who's the God that's in your body it was specifically said the Holy Ghost to glorify means to magnify to lift up to give praise to to worship mm -hmm. he's the God he's the one that's in the temple you're the temple mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. Luke chapter 4 let's look at verse 8 Jesus answered and said thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only shalt thou serve thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only shalt thou serve now the Lord is that spirit mm -hmm. thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only shalt thou serve was Jesus perchance talking about himself here Jesus said it is written thou shalt worship me and me only shalt thou serve did he say that no. no Jesus said I'll just read it again here thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only shalt thou serve now do you suppose that Jesus actually did that or is he just telling you to do something that he's not going to do well later on we see here he goes down and uh, look at verse 14 
it says and Jesus returned in the power of the Spirit and that word uh, returned in means under the influence of and under the control and lordship basically of the Spirit mm -hmm. and then it goes down and you look at verse 18 and the first words of Jesus in the ministry he said the Spirit of the Lord is upon me for he hath anointed me you suppose Jesus knew who anointed him yes. who anointed him the Spirit of the Lord he said the Spirit of the Lord red words did Jesus call the Spirit Lord yes. now he kept on going here and began to preach the acceptable year of the Lord he began to heal the brokenhearted he hath sent me to do these things mm -hmm. who hath sent him the Spirit of the Lord mm -hmm. was Jesus obedient to the Spirit of the Lord yes. so you could say that Jesus was serving the Spirit of the Lord yes. mm -hmm. let's read that verse again thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only shalt thou serve who did Jesus have to be talking about the Holy, the Holy Ghost, Ghost. Mm -hmm. he calls him Lord he serves him as Lord he said right there thou shalt worship the Lord mm -hmm. and him only shall you serve we see him serving the Spirit of the Lord mm -hmm. are you getting this yes. so who was Jesus worshiping spirit. the Spirit of the Lord or the Spirit Lord are you getting this yes. and serving him mm -hmm. say worshiping him, worshiping and, him. Serving him. and serving him say worshiping him, worshiping him. And, serving him. and serving him him who the Holy, the Holy Ghost are you getting this mm -hmm. la 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 I don't want to hear it I don't want to hear it you hear a lot of people doing that they don't want to hear it it just means they've been religiously brainwashed and blinded so that they can't hear the truth the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and if you know him as God they know him as God you will worship him as God and that's going to open up a whole bunch of liberties for you and frankly fundamentally change you Luke chapter 4 verse 5 and the devil taking him Jesus up into a high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world in a moment of time and the devil said unto him all this power will I give thee and the glory of them for that is delivered unto me and to whomsoever I will give it if thou wilt worship me all shall be thine now have you ever heard of the devil being one who tries to steal things mm -hmm. take things that aren't his mm -hmm. here he's trying to claim glory on him that belongs to God and again I've I've covered this fairly well in other messages but we can see that he's trying to steal the glory and power that belongs to God claim it to himself do you suppose Jesus was fooled by this was he tricked into it no. and said oh okay no it wasn't a temptation like that the devil was trying to trick him it was a test of the devil mm -hmm. to see if he could get him to go in a different direction mm -hmm. you suppose the devil knows where glory and power comes from mm -hmm. yeah so all of these things the glory and the power are in the domain of the Holy Ghost the glory the power and the kingdom are in the domain of the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. and the devil wanted to be like God so he's pretending to be like God are you here mm -hmm. Jesus wasn't fooled or tempted now when I started worshiping the Holy Ghost say worshiping the Holy Ghost, worshiping the Holy Ghost. It was a long time ago I was 18 19 17 maybe started worshiping the Holy Ghost say worshiping the Holy Ghost, worshiping the Holy Ghost. I had met him as, as God I knew he was God and I was just doing it because 
I guess I wasn't religiously brainwashed into not doing it mm -hmm. anyway when I first started worshiping the Holy Ghost I would get by myself and I would you know at that time I would shut myself off in like a like a prayer closet I actually had a wardrobe that was big enough to get into and you know I was just taking the word literally go into your closet so I'd go in there and I'd shut the door and kind of huddle down and worship the Holy Ghost I pray in tongues for you know I would try to pray in tongues for an hour or whatever and but I would worship the Holy Ghost I'd say I worship you Holy Ghost I worship you Holy Ghost and as I as I did that I began to see cities I began to see cities I began to see the glory of the cities I began I began to see uh, they were like gleaming to me sometimes it's hard to get things across you understand but I began to see them and I, I didn't know what I know today about what was going on oh that's the devil no I was worshiping the Holy Ghost and that's the domain of the Holy Ghost and as I began to worship him he began to show me those things say he began to, he began to show, me show me those things now you can see the devil wanting to do that right the devil wants to do the same thing in the moment of time show show Jesus is trying to trick him into going in the wrong in the wrong direction but Jesus corrected him and said no thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only shalt thou serve the fact is when you worship the Holy Ghost he intends to give you things when you worship the Holy Ghost he intends to give you things now the devil said all of these things I will give unto thee they weren't his to give whose are they to give the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. he says listen he says all of these things I will give unto you if you will worship me mm -hmm. all shall be thine say all, all. shall be thine all shall be thine for all are his to give the kingdom and the power and the glory have you ever heard this mm -hmm. forever amen. amen this God the Holy Ghost who has all of these things you are to glorify say glorify, glorify. in your body and in your spirit which are his mm -hmm. are you getting this yes. first Timothy chapter 6 verse 17 charge them that are rich in this world that they be not high-minded nor trust in uncertain riches but in the living God who gives us richly all things to enjoy he is a living God and who, who's the living God Holy the Holy Ghost the Holy Ghost is the living God and he gives you richly all things to enjoy whose temple are you the living God's yeah right yes. when you worship him all shall be thine mm -hmm. all what all of his things shall be thine mm -hmm. he's living as he lives in you all shall be yours why would that be because it's his mm -hmm. are you seeing this mm -hmm. it's not the devil's it's his and as he's able to live through you all shall be yours Genesis chapter 15 1 God speaking to Abraham said I am thy exceeding great reward he could have said great reward no he said I am thy exceeding great reward meaning it surpasses all other rewards and then he went on to say he was going to bless him with certain things you understand yes but who was Abraham's reward God was mm -hmm. right he was the reward mm -hmm. who's the promise of your salvation Holy Ghost he is he's the promise because with him come all of the other promises mm -hmm. say all of the other promises all, the other promises. all shall be thine mm -hmm. because he's the exceeding great reward what if I told you that if you worship him all shall be thine I hope that you can hear this if you worship him all shall be thine 
he will give you all things it's what he we just read that in Timothy mm -hmm. living God who gives us richly one thing to enjoy is that what it said yeah. all things living God Holy Ghost gives me richly all things if I worship him all things shall be thine all shall be thine he will give you all things why because he first gives himself to you mm -hmm. he is the promise and in him are all the other promises to enjoy mm -hmm. what would you enjoy would you enjoy some youth renewal mm -hmm. 10 20 years how about that would that be good to enjoy where's that gonna come from mm -hmm. him living in you the promise it's a promise how about healing is that a promise is that something the Holy Ghost does mm -hmm. by knowing him and his power say knowing him knowing and him. his power how about any of the other promises mm -hmm. he does it are you getting this all shall be thine mm -hmm. the main of the Holy Ghost he is the promise himself knowing him is the reward the promise of your salvation is knowing him he's the reward are you getting this yes. now Holy Ghost when you get to know him say when I get to know him, to know him. you will see that he is the highest he's the most high and he's the best at everything there is no one better there is no one greater he is God there's no one smarter there's no one prettier there's no there's no one more attractive there's no one healthier are you here mm -hmm. and that in a word is holiness he's the top he's the best he's light without darkness mm -hmm. holiness of light mm -hmm. he's health without any sickness or disease mm -hmm. who are we talking about the Holy Ghost learning to know him he's God mm -hmm. how how sharp is he is he pretty smart mm -hmm. there's no one sharper mm -hmm. he's the sharpest knife in the drawer he's the most attractive mm -hmm. he's the richest <laughs> are you here mm -hmm. getting to know him whose image are we changed into his by beholding him see a lot of people never heard this before because they don't know him as God and they don't know him as a person we're getting to know him as a person and his power is to reproduce those things that are himself in your life mm -hmm. and you change fundamentally imagine if you could know like the wealthiest or the most attractive person in the world it would be an honor just to know them you can throw their name out at parties oh you know so-and-so oh yeah we're good buddies mm -hmm. it's an honor just to know them but how much more to be known of them first mm -hmm. Corinthians 8 3 says if any man loves God the same is known of God and if you love God you're gonna worship God God who God the Holy Ghost it's an honor to know him why is it an honor to know him I hope I'm getting this across to you he's extremely wealthy he's extremely healthy I mean extremely healthy he's extremely brilliant is it an honor to know him is it an honor is even more of an honor to be known of him well how can you know him if you don't know who he is how can you know him without a preacher and how many people don't have preaching on who the Holy Ghost is so they can't really know him or if they do it's somehow cloaked in this religious garbage mm -hmm. that you can't really see who he is the veil is still there take that veil away and start looking at the God you're supposed to be walking around with mm -hmm. 
and then you won't have a problem with people being healed or living in divine health or being wealthy because he's the living God he's trying to live his life through you and you start to be changed into his image by beholding him from glory to glory and one of the translations of glory is wealth well if you knew him the Holy Ghost you would worship him if you worship him you begin to know who he is say who he is, who he is. he's literally the wealthiest smartest strongest best looking most attractive being that ever existed are you here yes. so super cool you can't even describe him with words and you don't want to worship him you don't know him and then you want to be like him you want to talk like him you want to think like him you want to act like him you want to be like him that's part of what's happening on the inside of you as you get to know him and worship him mm -hmm. we could call this person worship Have you ever seen some of the some of the young young kids they want to be a basketball player I'm, I'm not that into basketball so forgive me here but I remember Michael Jordan Michael Jordan was so good everybody wanted to be like him so they'd wear his clothes and they'd try to act like him mm -hmm. emulate him mimic him right it's the same with anyone at the top of their field if you want to be the best in your field say in my field, my field. someone is up on top of that mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. and if you start to act like them and talk like them and think like them those actions of you being changed and that in a word is worship mm -hmm. worshiping Michael Jordan worshiping someone at the top of that field you understand mm -hmm. this is what we're supposed to do with the Holy Ghost he is literally the top of every field mm -hmm. when the devil took Jesus showed him the kingdoms of the world in a moment of time he was showing him the top of those kingdoms say those kingdoms. those kingdoms it could have been an economic kingdom it could have been a an educational kingdom the domain over that mm -hmm. who's the best at all those things it's not the devil it's the Holy Ghost this is person worship worshiping a person say worshiping, worshiping. A, person. a person the Holy Ghost is a person he happens to be God he happens to be the best at everything and you're supposed to worship him and when you do what does that do to you it fundamentally changes you from glory to glory mm -hmm. gee brother I worshiping a person that doesn't sound right your religious brain needs to be slapped <laughs> is the Holy Ghost a person yes. is he God yes. is he in the earth are you supposed to worship him yes. you're worshiping a person now when you get to learn who he is he'll begin to rub off on you and you'll st your desires will change you'll start to think differently well his plan is to be changed into his image say his image, his image. how are you gonna be changed into his image if you don't know what that image is it says we're supposed to be beholding his image but if somebody if we have this veil over our eyes and we refuse to look at him mm -hmm. we can't be changed into that image right. but if you do you will be changed by beholding his image from glory to glory my speech and my preaching are in revelation or unveiling of the Holy Ghost and his power are you starting to see this mm -hmm. some people online just got that this is worship person worship worshiping the Holy Ghost and you're changed by seeing him and worshiping him what do you suppose you're gonna be changed into well his image you're gonna be changed into the best Ephesians chapter 5 verse 1 
be ye therefore followers of God as dear children or as children would now be ye followers that word follower there is interpreted in other translations as imitators say imitators, imitators. you're supposed to be an imitator of God as a child would imitate a grown-up or someone they look up to mm -hmm. who's the God we should be imitating the Holy Ghost this word imitation imitators or followers here comes from the Greek word to mime one who imitates or emulates someone else mm -hmm. who are we supposed to be emulating the Holy Ghost if we don't know he is God and we don't even know he's a person how are we gonna emulate him emulate means to match the success of if he's the top at his field mimic the number one thing that we mimic is speech it's how children learn how to talk now what was the first thing that the Holy Ghost did when he came into the earth he gave us the ability to mimic his speech we began to speak as he gave us utterance if you learn how to worship him and speak his words he will put you at the top of your field whatever kingdom that is he can't not do it it's who he is he will make you the head and not the tail he makes you above only and not beneath why are these promises verses of scripture why are why are they there because that's who he is mm -hmm. are those promises make you the head not the tail above only and not beneath mm -hmm. above only say above only. above only so I'm going to the top and I see myself there say I'm going to the top, going to the top. and I see myself, I see myself there. There. there when you do that you can backwards engineer mm -hmm. you're in the future at the top and you look back on your life you backwards engineer to see yourself how did you get from where you are now to the top by worshiping the Holy Ghost and him only do I serve mm -hmm. because then he gives you all of these things I got here by worshiping the Holy Ghost only so as I sat there I was worshiping the Holy Ghost worshiping the Holy Ghost and seeing myself at the top of my field say I was worshiping the Holy Ghost worshiping the Holy Ghost and seeing myself at the top of my field and I asked myself well how did I get there and I could see it as clear as you could see anything that I got there by worshiping the Lord my God and him only do I serve because he is able to take you there he's there already mm -hmm. yes. and if you're gonna imitate him you will be fundamentally changed into what into him like him mm -hmm. say I'm fundamentally, I'm fundamentally changed, changed into, into being, being like, like him, him sitting there looking back I know the source of my great success it was in daily worshiping the Holy Ghost and speaking in agreement with his word mm -hmm. I see myself at the end having done all when I worship the Holy Ghost and him only do I serve he begins to deliver these things he gives gifts do you see this mm -hmm. He gives them as gifts part of the gift changes the way you think part of the gift changes the way you look if you get healed do you look different mm -hmm. yes. if your youth gets renewed do you look different yes. do you look better more attractive yes. Yes. where'd that come from him mm -hmm. worshiping him you're worshiping a person and he's changing you 
so while worshiping him see this see yourself at the top see why would you be seeing yourself at the top because that's who he is mm -hmm. the best way to see yourself is to say yourself mm -hmm. say I see myself, I see myself. At, the at the top say I see myself, I see myself. Completely, healed. completely healed say I see myself, I see myself. With, my youth renewed. with my youth renewed when you say yourself you see yourself shown the kingdoms of the world in a moment of time devil trying to act like the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. he's not the Holy Ghost and he did a pitiful job obviously mm -hmm. but the Holy Ghost is the Holy Ghost yeah. that's a profound statement mm -hmm. this is how he does things so while you're worshiping him see yourself that way I worship you Holy Ghost and see yourself at the top why because that's where you're heading because of him in this place says the Spirit of the Lord you shall have prosperity you shall have healing you shall have youth renewed you shall be changed into it having acquired it and into the image of him you are changed if you worship me says the Holy Ghost all shall be thine and then he says I'm going to change the world through you that your world will be changed first mm -hmm. you understand mm -hmm. say my world, my world will be changed first, will be changed first. so wow. use these words I worship you Holy Ghost only are you all right with that now yes. I worship you Holy Ghost only these words will come out of your mouth and when these words come out of your mouth it's not insignificant these words set you up set you up to being changed from glory to glory James chapter 3 talks about the tongue being a rudder when you start to say I worship you Holy Ghost you're starting to see who you're worshiping say I'm seeing, I'm seeing. who I'm worshiping, I'm worshiping because I've been preaching about him mm -hmm. and then Romans 12 1 and 2 says present your body a living sacrifice unto God which is your spiritual worship and be changed good to acceptable to perfect the perfect will of God what would that be the best mm -hmm. himself say I'm being changed, I'm being changed. into himself he is the promise of your salvation so I worship you Holy Ghost or worshiping the Holy Ghost becomes your everything you know a lot of people have never even heard that before but that's the fact worshiping the Holy Ghost becomes all-consuming why would that be because he is God thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him sometimes shall you serve no if you start doing this right you will be consumed by knowing him and worshiping him and being changed from one glory to the next glory even as by him mm -hmm. when you go I worship you Holy Ghost you use those words and you do it enough rewards come to you they come to you for, through him he is the reward do you understand this yes. but he is the reward but then through him come actual say actual, actual. rewards yeah. living God gives you richly all things they come through him they're actual things mm -hmm. what if in the midst of you using the words I worship you Holy Ghost only he did something for you meaning he did something for you he did, for me. he did something for me what if while you're worshiping the Holy Ghost I worship you Holy Ghost I worship you Holy Ghost only and he did something for you is that a reward mm -hmm. what's that gonna make you want to do do it again you're gonna do it some more mm -hmm. and you're gonna want well how did you get to this place that you do it and you keep doing it 
and you're changed from glory to glory by him so while you're worshiping him he does things for you now I wish I can't do it for you if you do it and you worship him and you learn how to worship him every day I'm telling you if you could look back at your future or look from your future back here and you could tell yourself that this is what caused you to get to where you wanted to be was by worshiping the Lord your God and him only would you serve and all things being given to you through that channel you would do it and I'm telling you as part of my testimony as I worship the Lord my God the Holy Ghost he does things for me things that I've been trying to do things that I wanted to do he just does it well while you're worshiping the Holy Ghost only he'll look at you and he'll go is this true is this person really worshiping me and he'll stand there and he'll look at you for a while say for a while, for a while. there'll be some time that passes to see if you're gonna be consistent in it I'm telling you but as you continue say continue, continue. to worship him and let him change you they'll start to do things for you things will begin to happen that couldn't happen before things will open up to you liberties will begin to happen and open up to you things that were a problem for you for years will just somehow melt away because the Spirit of the Lord is now taking up residence and taking up your situation upon himself and he's beginning to move you up from one glory to the next glory to the next glory so continue to worship the Holy Ghost and know that he is God and he has your best interest at heart and he knows who you are if you're worshiping him say this Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost I worship you I, worship I thank you, you that as I worship you I worship you know who I am, you know who I am and you take up, and you take up my, situation. my situation in Jesus name, in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. If you have a tithe or an offering, hold it in your hand. Say this after me, Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost I worship you. I thank you that I'm abundantly blessed in my finances and in every area of my life. I worship you in Jesus' name. Amen. in heaven Jesus at his right hand Holy Ghost your God in the earth